Well, who the heck are we anyway, huh? I mean, are we northern Idaho? Are we eastern Washington? Are we the inland northwest? All sounds geographical to me. Even Spokane's motto, near God, near perfect, sounds more voc uh, location than vocation. Compare it to these communities. You've got, every one of them has created a niche market, a memorable niche market. I even like the last one the best because it's regional. I would bet oh, a year's wages that there's more silicon above ground than below ground in Silicon Valley. <laughs> so maybe we need a new game for the area. Ever since I moved here in 1987, I've heard that we're economically depressed. Now the best medicine for that that I've ever heard is money. Lots and lots and lots of money coming in from outside the area. But what we don't need are a bunch of plants that pollute our environment. Factories that feed off of our resources and return low-wage jobs for some questionable benefits. Because what we have to offer in this community is a climate, a countryside, and a culture that creates a quality of life you can't find in very many areas of the world. That's what we ought to be marketing to other companies. That's what we ought to be doing with visionaries from other companies. Maybe we need to redefine ourselves. Maybe we need to have a new image. One that's, set, that one that's more productive, more practical, more profitable. What would it take for us to make our region the corporate headquarters capital of the world? Yeah, and I wouldn't stop at corporate either. Let's go for the nonprofits. We already have people to people right here in our own community. Let's go for government pro money, but I wouldn't count on it. So, uh, coopetition is the game plan that I've come up with. And what is it? Well, if you've seen the movie A Beautiful Mind with Russell Crowe, you kind of got a glimpse of it right there. It's uh, business using game theory. And the authors, Adam Brandenburg and Barry Nailbuff, are a couple of uh, business professionals, one from Yale, one from uh, Harvard, and they have two concepts in coopetition. The first one is the value net. And we're in games all the time. If you think about it as individuals, look at your family game and your job game, your corporate game, and your church game, and any, say, if you belong to a team sport, what kind of game you're in there. Where in the business world, we always stay right in the center of our value net. And we talk about our contributors. Now, the contributors in my situation here would be CERTI, the fact that we have great transportation at Spokane International and I-90, that we have a convention center, an arena, a conference uh, community center. And all of these things are going to bring our customers, which we've already identified as uh, corporate, governmental, nonprofit agencies, bringing their, home, their uh, headquarters to our area. Now, in the past, we've been happy, content, to be competing against ourselves. We've been trying to slice up a smaller and smaller and smaller pie every year. What we need to do is create a bigger pie. In the future, we're gonna be competing against other regions, other areas that get on our bandwagon, that grab a hold of this concept. What we need to do is become complementers. Like the stores in a mall. People go to the mall because they know it's one-stop shopping. That's what we have with all of our businesses here in this community, all of our different communities. I'm talking about Kootenai and Spokane County here. The other half of this uh, strategy in the coopetition is the five levers. They talk about it as the, uh, the tools to techniques that you can sometimes manipulate, manage, or endure just to get through and win the game. And here they are. They've got scope, players. I've actually modified their added value lever to opportunities that I think is really more inclusive in our situation. The rules and the tactics, and I'll give you a brief description of what they would be in our situation here. We've already described the scope of the game. Headquarters coming to Spokane. The players, the main players are going to be the people in those communities, the businesses in those communities, and the governments in those communities. We need to provide as many non-financial incentives to the corporations, and we will hit critical mass when the corporations themselves start inviting other corporations. We need to define the rules that businesses are going to have to play against. And we need a world-class campaign, a PR campaign, to bring it all together. I did a search on Google, and for a world corporate headquarters, there were only two obscure references. So that tells me that if we hit the gate running, we've got the track to ourselves, folks. And that's a horse race I'd bet on any day of the week. But even on a one-horse race, it's a good idea to let the horse know about it. You know, the governments. The businesses, they're the jockeys. This race is going to be won by horses, 
like you and me. I'm game, how about you?